Now, we've heard of short boys, 355 ml cans, and we've heard of tall boys, 473 ml cans, but Amsterdam Brewery, they took their short cans, they took their tall boys, and they gave them a little bit of juice, and now we got a huge can. Oh yeah, they beefed it up. Just to note, this is a this is, this was a, it's, it's not a medical needle. It was for uh, for making vape juice. So anybody wonders, just don't worry about it. It's 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 not what it is. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer, beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Mate Brewski, from the Rusk Brewski Review. And today, the beer that I have for you guys is by the Amsterdam Brewery out in Toronto, Ontario. We have their giant three speed lager. Oh my lord. This thing is big. It's a big can. It's 568 milliliters. It's over a half a liter in size. And that is always a great thing. Yes. 568 ml 3 speed lager 4.2% alcohol by volume no listed IBUs here on the very blue and silver can with a nice bike on it looking pretty damn good 20% larger than a regular tall boy they beefed it up real good can't complain when you have more beer also I think they are the they're they, they, I'm pretty sure the size is very exclusive to them I haven't seen any other beers with this style of, of, of tall can or extra tall can, so pretty cool. IBUs, looking at 14 when you go to the website, which is pretty good. It's a, it's a light lager. You're not going to get a ton of IBUs out of it. But without further ado, let's crack this bad boy open. Let's see what we got. I'm pouring it into my Rickards pint glass because, well, the Big Skull one isn't the greatest for reviewing beer because it's so massive. Um, and it's also dirty. Here we go, we're gonna pour just uh, about a third of the beer in here. Looking at it, very pale straw yellow in color, extremely clear, fairly effervescent, nice white head on top, looking like a solid, like a solid light lager should. How it smells. On the nose. Slightly bready, slightly biscuity. Slightly crackery. A little, a little bit of caramel going on, not much. But yeah, bready, crackery, light biscuit, somewhat caramel, a little, a little uh, zesty almost. Like a very hint, hint, hint of like a citrus in there, but n not really like that, not not so evident, just, just, a, just like a touch just a small touch nothing large but definitely smells pretty damn good let's have a sip smooth crisp delicious bready again a little crackery slight biscuity a little sweet a little sweetness to it like a, like a uh, not a caramel sweetness per se but a, a like a light uh, it's like that syrupy sweetness, that's not it, but just like sweet, just general sweetness out of here. Like su sugar water, does that make sense? No, it's not. That's the closest thing to the sweetness that makes sense, but it's not watery, if you know what I mean. It's just that level of sweetness, in my opinion. Pretty good stuff. With that said, guys, cheers, everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Yeah. As far as light lagers go, like again, even a little, a little citrus zesty, not lemon or lime or, or like, I guess closer to like lemon, but not so pronounced. Just a little bit of a little bit of a zing going on in the beer. Pretty damn good. Yeah, but yeah, definitely, definitely crisp, but not overly uh, in your face with the effervescence of it. Just a damn solid good. Like it's just just some damn good beer. Just. It, it's built well. It's 4.2%. It's coming in a large can. You're, you're pretty much good to go. Speaking of the can, let's see what it has to say for itself. Amsterdam Brewery, three speed lager, 4.2% ABV. <coughs> 14 IBUs. Description. 
a unique blend of hops and malt that provide a clean, refreshing taste. Three Speed is our more, most versatile beer suitable with any food or occasion. Damn straight it is. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. To preserve freshness, please keep refrigerated. Um, Amsterdam Brewing Co. Limited, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Da -da -da -da. 568ml, 20% larger than a regular 473. On the bottom for a canned on date is the uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. April. April? No. May 11th, 2020. So, extremely fresh beer as well, but it being only May 22nd, it's 11 days old. Great, great stuff. Yeah, it's versatile as all hell. Seasoned craft beer drinkers will enjoy it. People who drink nothing but macro and they want to change it up a little bit will enjoy this. Bar none. Definitely blowing Coors Light and Bud Light out of the water. Definitely a much, a much more. It just it just seems like it, it has something to it that just makes it just a bit better than those. No, I'm not talking about the size of the can, but that is just a bonus. Over on the website, AmsterdamBeer.com. You go to the beer section, and this beer is on their website, giving you a ba -ba 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 slightly different description from what's on the can. Three Speed Lager is a perfect for any occasion, whether it's a hot summer day, watching the baseball game, or enjoying a nice meal. It has been brewed using a true lager yeast and aged for 26 days for a smooth taste and finish. 4.2%, uh, 14 IBUs, more info. Beer style is a lager. Size, uh, size that it comes in is on tap, three, I mean, sorry, four 73 mil cans, four, I mean, five 68 mil cans, and also brand new 355 mil cans. We'll get to that in just a little bit. No list for the malts, but the hops that are used, or at least one that's listed, is Hallertau, and your suggested glassware is a crown sleeve. It's also gotten multiple awards. I'm not going to read them all, but the award years were 2018, two, two of those, uh, 2017, and 2016. Pretty good stuff. Available on tap of the brew house and local bars, and of course, in our brew house and brewery retail store. Also available, available at the beer store and the LCBO. Over on untapped, 3 Speed has been given a 3.32 bottle caps out of 5. And that's out of just over a 9700 rating so a lot of people are enjoying three speed over at the lcbo it is currently on sale for three dollars and five cents for this big 568 mil can but regular price is 335 335 for a taller than tall boy can can't complain solid price solid beer Something about it. Usually, I'm I'm not the kind of guy to to go buy light lagers on the regular, mainly because they are usually lighter on the alcohol side of things, and I want my money, you know, my best my best bang for my ABV kind of thing, bang for my buck. But being being such a large can, 20% doesn't seem like a lot, but it is when the price is that good. It's it's, it's good. That's what keeps me coming back is the size of it and it's still pretty damn good beer. You're not getting chinsed out in any manner, shape, or form. Plus, if you want a light lager, and you, light lagers go down like, uh, well, they go down fairly, fairly easy. And having that extra um, beer on hand, it just makes sense. So 335, right now 305, whew, easy, easy. Easy, easy decision. You buy it. You buy it. You buy it. You buy it. Moving over back to Amsterdam, their shop page. They have it in a few varieties, few size varieties that you can pick up for yourself. It comes in a 25 pack for $59.95. Also, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, 25 pack, $59.95. That's for the large 568 mil cans. Um, but if you want to go for the 355 mils, the short boys, it's going to be 51.95. Also comes in the six packs for the large, uh, extra tall boy can for 18.95. And yeah, it seems to be only the 355s are available in in the 25 pack. So you get three options there: a six pack or a 25 pack. And for the 25, you get two size options for the beer. But it makes sense just to get the. Uh, 
the extra tall boy can. Why? Because bigger, in this case, is much, much better. But with that said, guys, it's a beautiful beer. It's simple. It's, it, it's elegant. It's a big friggin' can. There's nothing wrong with that. Cheers, everybody, on the final set. Let's get retrains and wrap this thing up. Amsterdam Brewery, three speed, lager. Beautiful. It is a solid, no bullshit, just easy going, easy drinking lager. 4.2% ABV, extra tall boy can. You got you, you you're getting a solid beer for a solid price and and just it it's I don't know what else to say about this beer. It's good. It's damn good beer. It does the job real well and it's not gonna break the bank and it's gonna give you a lot of fun times. Three speed for flavor gets a solid gets a solid seven and a half out of ten for me. It's nothing that's you know gonna blow your mind. Or, or, or you know blow your taste buds out of the water but it is a it, it's just it's solidly built it's solidly brewed you're set you're set you're set yeah that's it that's it you're set you're good to go presentation forgot the word for a second looking pretty good I love the beautiful size of the can for sure obviously because more beer equals better times but the logo itself is simplistic but it you know you spot it you know exactly what it is good information description no ingredients no ibus but you do have a clearly labeled packaged on it on the bottom of the can so you're good to go in that regard website looking good happy the beers here on the website that you can see giving you some nice info separate description i've used are included glassware is included a detailed list of at least one of the hops that are used is there also the can sizes and the awards and availability you're pretty good to go presentation also gets a solid 7.5 out of 10 for me before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Mate Bruce, because it would be greatly appreciated as well. And with all that said, that's going to do it for me, Mate Bruce, and I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. I've never ridden a three speed bike, but I got one that's about 21 speeds because it's seven times three, right? Right? That's 21. Quick maths. Cheers.